So we got a comment. We got lots of comments lately, but we got a comment in the Facebook group. Uh, this is also going to go on YouTube if you're watching a live stream or a replay. But we got a comment about how does red light therapy actually work and can you explain it in plain English? So I'm going to be doing a live in Facebook here. Hello, YouTube. And then everywhere else we post will be over here. So red light therapy has been called everything from a skincare miracle to a muscle recovery hack. But how does it actually work? What's the science behind it? Today, I'm going to break down what's really happening when you sit in front of a red light therapy panel and why it helps with everything from inflammation to energy to sleep. And don't worry, we're keeping it simple without watering it down. So part number one, what is red light therapy? Let's start with the absolute basics. Red light therapy, also called photobiomodulation, or PBMT as I like to say for short, is the use of specific wavelengths of light to activate biological changes in the body. We're talking about visible red light, usually around 660 nanometers, and near infrared light, usually around 850 nanometers. This isn't UV light, it doesn't damage the skin, it doesn't heat you up like infrared saunas do either. Instead, the light penetrates your skin, reaches deep into your tissues, depending on the wavelength. Part number two, the mitochondria connection. So what happens inside your body when red light hits it? That light is absorbed by something called cytochrome C oxidase, a photosensitive enzyme inside your mitochondria. I know this is getting really complicated. Just bear with me. We're going to distill the science and make it easy to understand. You've probably heard of mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell. They make ATP, which is your cell's energy currency. When cytochrome C oxidase absorbs red or near infrared light, it triggers a chain reaction. ATP production increases, nitric oxide is released, improving blood flow, oxidative stress goes down, and genes linked to healing and regeneration get switched on. So in plain English, your cells start functioning better and healing much faster. Part three, why does it work? The biphasic dose response explained. Now, here's a critical concept. Dosing matters. Too little light and you get no effect. Too much light and you might actually slow down healing. We don't want that. This is called the biphasic dose response and it's backed by thousands of studies on PubMed that you can see us referencing here in the group. Most clinical research shows effective radiance ranges between 10 and 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared with total light doses between three to eight joules per square centimeter. And those results aren't just theoretical. They've been seen in trials on tendon healing, brain injuries, skin rejuvenation, muscle fatigue, nerve regeneration, and even chronic pain. My own recovery from leukemia treatment is a testament to some of these. So in my world, the research backs out and it has merit. Part four, a real world example. Let's say you've got a red light therapy panel that emits 30 milliwatt per centimeter squared at six inches away. If you sit in front of it for 10 minutes, that's 18 joules per square centimeter of energy being delivered to your skin and tissue. That's well within the effective dose range for things like reducing inflammation, improved muscle recovery, helping skin cells produce more collagen. And this is exactly what researchers like Dr. Hamblin at Harvard and others have documented for over a decade. Part five, where the light goes in the body. Red light around 660 nanometers primarily affects surface tissues, skin, blood vessels, and fascia. Near infrared light around 850 nanometers penetrates much deeper into muscles, joints, and even bone. That's why red light therapy can help with both cosmetic goals like wrinkle or acne and functional goals like joint pain, injury recovery, and even brain fog. The light doesn't treat symptoms. It stimulates your body's own healing processes. Part six, key takeaways for you. So to recap how red light therapy actually works, you expose your skin to red and near infrared wavelengths. That light penetrates into your cells and stimulates the mitochondria. Your body produces more ATP releases nitric oxide, reduces inflammation, and activates healing genes. The right dose at the right distance gives you noticeable evidence-based benefits. That's photobiomodulation. Simple, powerful, and 100% backed by science. No guesswork, only PubMed studies to reference the research. If you've ever wondered why red light therapy seems to help with so many things, from energy to skin to soreness, it's because it targets your cells at the most fundamental level, the mitochondria. I'll drop some studies in the description if you want to geek out. And if you want help choosing the best red light therapy panel with real specs, not marketing hype,
download my free red light buyers checklist below. So for you guys catching this live, if you missed anything, there will be a replay. For those of you seeing this on replay on YouTube, there's links in the description. Comment below with your biggest question on how red light therapy works or your specific need. We'll add it to the queue for an upcoming video and hit subscribe because next we're covering on how red light therapy can stack with infrared saunas, detox protocols for a total cellular reboot. We'll see you guys in the next one.